Hello, this is Joyce Latimer from Virginia Tech, and today we're going to be talking about how to choose the right plant growth regulator for your job. Plant growth regulators are designed to affect plant growth and or development, and so they're designed for specific purposes to affect specific plant responses. So first of all, you have to decide what specific response you are wanting to affect. Most of our plant growth regulators are used to control shoot elongation or plant growth. We also want to affect plant branching in a number of cases, and there are some PGRs that affect flowering or some other specific responses. Using plant growth regulators is still a good bit more art than science. But first of all, you have a very large toolbox. These top ones in blue are really what we call the growth retardants. These are the anti-GA products, and they inhibit growth. The lower ones are what we call our structural plant growth regulators. They affect the other processes that we're interested in in plant production. So when we talk about affecting shoot elongation, first of all we can talk about how to limit shoot elongation. We're going to use a growth retardant or one of the anti-GA products. It's important to realize that these reduce the growth rate. They don't reduce the size. You cannot shrink the plant. You have to slow down its growth early so that you achieve the size you want. Now in some cases we want to increase shoot growth. Then we use gibberellins or a combination of gibberellins and BA or benzyl adenine. We can use this to elongate stems or flower stalks such as in cut flowers or we can use it to counteract PGR overdoses by restoring the GAs to the plant. If we want to affect plant habit, then we're going to use a branching agent. And these will either apply or activate plant hormones in the plant. So our goal is to activate dormant buds or to stimulate adventitious buds, but it's important that those buds grow out normally in order to give us an improved plant. Some of those options are benzoadenine, athophon, or dicagulac sodium. We can also affect flowering or a few other processes. To affect flowering, we're typically using ethophon, and this releases ethylene inside the plant to cause abortion of flowers. It may also enhance branching or reduce stem elongation. It can be used in propagation to remove flowers so that more of that energy goes into rooting of the plant, or we can use it to synchronize flowering for a market date. Some crops are responsive to gibberellins to enhance flowering, such as Floris azaleas, where it may overcome partial dormancy, or some cut flowers, such as status or calla lilies. There are other applications of plant growth regulators, such as using gibberellin combos to whiten the poinsettia bracts of white cultivars, and there are gibberellin combos used to reduce lower leaf yellowing on lilies. The second thing in choosing a PGR is to match it to the applicator. For applicators who have little or no experience, you want to use a PGR with little or no soil activity. They're typically shorter term responses, but the uptake is by the leaves and they are not in the soil, so the volume of the application is less critical. If you're more experienced, then you may want to move into the more soil active plant growth regulators, which are taken up by both shoots and roots, where the application volume definitely affects the dose. Therefore, the application uniformity is critical. As you see in this picture of hydrangeas, where they were all treated with 10 parts per million Sioux Magic, you do not want that much variability in your response. It comes down to the application uniformity. And the other thing is that plants are people too. They have preferences. There are some plants will respond better to some PGRs than to others. So use all of the resources. We've got written resources on the Fine America's website that can help you with some of that. There are grower magazines and other growers that can tell you which plants respond best to which PGR. So the right plant growth regulator is actually whatever the right chemical is for the job and the right chemical for the applicator's experience level and the right chemical for the plant. So learn the art of plant growth regulation. Thanks again to Find Americas and eGrow for sponsoring this video.